We ain't done no training. Ain't done no training tonight. No tonight, do not train it. We should have done those pull ups, but we didn't because we're lazy. Double dino on the rack. Hey guys, welcome to Belly Hanging. This is the podcast for all your climbing, uh, for all your very specific climbing news, tips, needs. updates, needs. Uh, none of that. It's just two happy guys chatting shit into a microphone and we also climb. My name's Pete. My name's Danko Henry Winterbear. Oh, I love how you always do your full name so everyone yeah. knows. It's just to try and think, make people think I'm not average. Yeah. But actually I'm sat next to a broken hoover. Yeah. And so a very toolbox in fact this room is looking very disheveled <laughs> disheveled when we first set up this podcast room it it looked uh very legit uh it was kind of empty it just had a table a plant uh all our little trophies from our days out we might have to take a photo of that actually and put it on because it's getting quite impressive isn't it yeah boy uh, <laughs> and now it's like a bit of a storage room pete how's it going i'm good now How you're just you? talking about a room i am just talking about a room uh i'm good man I had a really good week uh, I say a really good week. It's been average. Yeah, um, average climbing I, week. Yeah, I've not been outdoors. Oh, why not? At all. Brother? Um, the sun is shining. <laughs> the sun is the shining. The weather is cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been climbing indoors. I've done two sessions this week. The first session was incredibly average, and I walked away feeling very weak. Yeah. And the second session tonight. It was an amazing nice. session. I'll have to talk about it in a minute. But first, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, I can't you're good. What we tell about. me, tell me three things about yourself, Dan, that no one else knows because you did this um, to me last week. Got no hair. You got no. Everyone yeah. knows that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> People talk about my hair. <laughs> no one talks about your hair. No, what? you're just bald. No one really cares. No one talks about it, Dan. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. I have no hair, yeah, that's <laughs> number one. Yeah, um, we don't need to talk about it, that anymore. Um, Let's I not re- bother talking about it. I anymore. love, love <laughs> roasted vegetables, specifically. Um, some call it a rutabaga, I call it a swede. <laughs> some people call it what? A rutabaga. Oh, I've never heard that word in my life. I call it swede. Yeah, it's a swede. Yeah, you love swede, I so that's swede. another one for yeah, people. I think yeah, no one will know that. Dan loves swede. Yeah. What Not else? Third one? Third one. So I'm bold. Sweet. I feel like you're using things that you identify by. Go out of that realm. Nothing that I identify... Because yes, last week I said I changed my laces recently to leather laces. Yeah. I don't identify with that. So tell me something just about you that you don't identify with. Like That's not part of your but character. I, because, I'm, because I'm such an empathic, <laughs> young, vibrant... <laughs> Male role model. Yeah. I identify with everything. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I think... You the, think? What's the third one? Come third on. third one that no one knows about me. Yeah. They're in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're all in the basement. <laughs> all the secrets. I, I didn't know. <laughs> the skeletons. The secrets. The sweeties down there. Something no one knows about me. Um, I, I had no idea you had a basement, first yeah, of all. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's quite easy to hide serious. the door. Hide the door, and then yeah. no one else knows. Remember Does that the... TV show Trapdoor? Oh, yeah, yeah, we talked about Imagine this. if they hid the Trapdoor. Yeah, then there'd be no TV show. <laughs> It'd be well no boring. No one would know about no it, one though. No would know. It'd be stark at that, wouldn't it? It, yeah. it was a good TV show. It's what good. people might not know about me is that um, I'm actually... A multi-millionaire, and this is all just um, the secret millionaire. Uh, what? Yeah, the whole thing. Really? Is this the reveal now? This is it. For me? Yeah. And what? Um, what do you think? What do you find? Are you going to give me money to help with my horrible no, life? No, I'm not going to give you money. Oh, no. I'm going to give you advice. <laughs> Average advice for the rest of your life. What? So I'm going to use my money to make my life better. <laughs> But I'll just be around to help you out every now and then, like with advice, but not actually. Not with advice. I'd be like, cheer you on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that smile and nod you did then, as if it was really good. Yeah, that's good though. Some people have paid serious money for that. But you get it for nothing because we're oh, friends. Man, that sucks so much. Yeah, I was really hoping for like a lot of money, because um, I feel like on that show they give them 
a lot of money for the, the silliest reason. Yeah, but like, I don't think that helps. No. Deep down, what they really want is, is a mascot. Is a mascot? Yeah. So you're going to be my mascot forever now? Forever now, yeah. Oh, amazing. Okay. Yeah. Can I... How, how? What can I do with a mascot? My very own mascot? What can't you do? Let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what can't I do then? Um, the mouth? Yeah. <laughs> Mouth's too pretty. <laughs> um, you've got all the back doors. The IP passes. Right, anyways, how's your week been in terms of climbing? In terms of climbing? Because this is a climbing podcast. It's been an interesting week. What day is it? It's Friday now, mm. whatever that means. Mm. I actually haven't climbed since Monday. Monday? Okay, so it's been a dry week for you. Yeah, it's been a super dry week because like, I was meant to train on... So, Sadie's leaving for yeah. a super adventure up Kilimanjaro again because she's yeah, yeah, This is Dan's girlfriend. Yeah, and then... I'm left in the dust, um, but on Thursday <laughs> the wreckage. I was a train, and then I had. We've both had knife oh accidents. Oh my god! So Dan, we were cooking last night. Well, Dan was cooking. I wasn't actually cooking. I was. I was being an idiot oh, with a knife yeah. and stabbed myself in my fingertip. And he's cut his fingertip quite gnarly, like, and it was bleeding a lot. Just in the worst bit. Yeah. And, and then you've literally done the exact same so, thing. So and then tonight I was cooking for us before the podcast. Made fajitas. Fat fajitas. Fat fajitas. They were so good, man. Um, I put. I went big with it. And if anyone ever asks you how much aluminium you have per person, it's one block. One whole block. And if they say, uh, they say no, one block. One block of aluminium. Minimum. minimum. And if they say to you, why you go, you know, most people have a piece of chicken. I just have a whole block of aluminium. Yeah, exactly. Exact same thing. Exactly. No, it's no exactly. meat, Pete. Gonna eat some fajita. Fajita. Hello. <laughs> Hello me. So anyway, it's cutting up there. Uh, so you don't know what yours feels like to climb yet, and neither do I. No. But I keep touching everything and it's owie. Yeah. Can I just say before we move on, I cut my finger. Topic of the week. Oh my god, that this happened again. It's because I used the same video file, but let's just go with it, because we've gotta go move it round. Topics. 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 Pete doesn't let anyone in. No. He's an emotional wreck. But that's a lie, because the first ever day I met you, <laughs> we had such a heart to heart. Oh, car. we did, man. Remember? Yeah. remember when we cried and embraced each other? Yeah, I did. Driving back from Armscliff. Yeah, we cried. We yeah. stopped over at a garage. We call it our Armscliff. <laughs> our Armscliff. Yeah. I call in it... In my Armscliff. <laughs> you call it Leeds? Yeah. I call it... Swedes. Swedes. Um, you finish my... <laughs> Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Don't finish my sandwiches. Sandwiches are a good crack, crack snack. snack. What do you like to have on your sandwich? Dan's invented Whoa. a sandwich in 2019 and it's the best crack snack. It's good, isn't it? It is gr- brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Go on, um, explain. So it started off as said introduced me once to peanut butter and cucumber. Yeah. Not huge, but you know, pretty good. My peanut butter and cucumber on toast and I was like, yeah. Well, do well, you know, well done. Do you know what I do? Peanut butter and banana. That's classic. It's a, is it a classic that already? Is a, that is a, a, a staple. Oh, like no. dipping things in your peanut butter is not. Well, it's not fucking. You can't dip a banana in peanut butter. You can. No, you can, in a jar. Peanut butter, peanut butter. Peanut oh. butter. It's softer peanut butter. Oh, uh, softer peanut butter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I didn't. Okay. I didn't see that coming. So anyway, all cucumber, right, <laughs> peanut butter, and then I yeah. thought, yeah. being who I am, yeah. What's going to make this better? Yeah. Sriracha sauce and sweet chilli sauce. <laughs> tomatoes and salad. Boom. Granary bread, something whole. Yeah. yeah, is there nothing else? Don't you put cheese in it? No. This this is the satay sandwich. Uh, so this is called the satay it's sandwich. It's had halloumi in it's, it. It's inspired by satay curry. Yeah. Because it's. I'm guessing you're thinking, like, satay curry is peanut butter and it's spicy curry type vibe. Yeah. So you make a peanut butter sandwich... Put some lettuce. Spice it up. Just spice it up. We've had halloumi in it. We've had veggie sausages you, in you've it. You've made a burger. A sat- made sweet satay burger. Was it a sweet satay I've burger? I've done sw- sweet satay <laughs> burgers with all sorts. It's It, it kind it's of great. became its own entity for a yeah. while. So that's um, a good crack snack. 
Yours? I've got one. I'm roll, I've got a next one lined up. Already. Oh, really? Are we just, should we line up? Should we just do a few then? Give us one of your favourites. Favourite crack snack? Well, I can tell you if you want. If you really want me to. I know what one is Go with me. Me. Funky bars. Oh, my. That's not yours, Fun- though. It's my That's Tom I had Johnston's. One. I had one. And I think you it, had Tom's. No, I think it's Josie's, not Tom's. Same person. No, they are the same person. Basically. TJ stands for Tom and Josie. <laughs> TJ. <laughs> Yeah, so we were climbing up Triffin, and Josie, I think, from my memory, it's Josie, but Dan said Tom. Anyway, some some of these bar, chocolate bars called Funky Bars got thrown around, and we all had one. And then we couldn't stop. For some reason, it might be because we're fucking idiots, but it also could be because the bars actually make you funky. But all the way down Triffin, we were funky. We were funky. We were dancing. We were grooving. <laughs> like we were walking, and my hands were just doing all sorts funky. of funny movements. And we were all laughing. And apart I think, from me, n- apart from you, you were just Seriously. angry. You were holding a rock because you were training. You were like, "I've got to pinch this rock all the way back down." Yeah. But um, so yeah, for me, funky. You've got to have some high calorific sugar content and funky or not it should be a funky bar big shout out to our sponsors Lidl who provide us with Lidl. our funky bars we get about five a week yeah thank you that for that season for today and it only costs us 99p what a sponsor <laughs> um, they're always supporting us very Lidl. supportive Lidl I prefer Aldi no Lidl I know Lidl's Lidl has better one. nuts Aldi has better veg that's my conclusion oh really Think about it. Silence. Drop. We dropped the bombs and left you with silence. This is crack snack talk. This is not your average podcast talk. <laughs> Dan knows. I feel excel. like Dan knows what he's talking about with crack snacks yeah. as well. I feel like you can't do any crack snacks that aren't homemade, and I can't do any that are. So you so want, want one of Pete's? I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna do two now. Just yours. Whoa, quick, rogue, quick fire rogue. round. Rogue one now. <laughs> Pete loves a good old fashioned reduced booths oh. gathering. Yes. So, and I, I, it's, I think it's a fucking hell of a shout. Yeah, I'm man. quite jealous when you have it. I, I love my homemade. Yeah, so, sometimes yeah, I see yeah. Pete turn up with this whole bag yeah. of just reduced goodness. I, it's so <laughs> true, man. So, it tends not to be as much now because I've moved in here. But uh, we're too poor I, for booths yeah, around here. Too poor <laughs> for booths. But where I used to live, there was a booths, and I'd cycle home from the hangar. And if it was a Friday night and we were going to go climbing on the Saturday, I'd cycle home, pop into the booths, and there'd be so many reduced treats. And it's actually booths reduced treats are one of like mine. Nature's um, finest. Nature's finest. But one of the reasons, one of the things that I used to get into Plum's heart when I we started dating. That. Did you? You're so manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fucked, Pete. It's absolutely fucked that. But they have like these granola slices Ooh, yeah. type thing called OMG Slice. Have you have you had my OMG slices out of the freezer? No. I've oh, got I'd OMG love, slices in I'd the freezer lo- okay. on my own. Yeah, yeah. Don't want tomorrow. Yeah, I'd love one. Yeah, yeah. OMG so slices. I brought some reduced ones in. And I think it was at Kaylee Crag. It was like the first crag that me and Plum were like properly flirting at. And I gave her a little bit of my OMG slice, and I was like, ah, OMG. Just had that was not the first time you were playing. I'm not going to delve into your relationships, but... All right. You were caught earlier on. Were you? you yeah. I was caught earlier caught on. Caught you earlier on. All right, well, let's not open yeah. dirty laundry Th- out Remember the what air, the topic is? This isn't, you know what, Dan? This Fuck isn't this. relationship advice of the week. This is the topic <laughs> of the okay, week. Okay, so o- OMG slice for me. Okay. Amazing. A quick yeah. fire round, quick not fire so quick. Round. What are you going to say? This is coming straight from. I hope you say Louise. what I'm thinking. Oh. Quesadillas. Quesadilla. Cold quesadilla. Cala, cala, quesadilla. Crack. Did you have a quesadilla years ago? No, you had pesto at years ago. Yeah, uh, I had pesto pasta. Yeah. Remember when it fizzed, the spare yeah. That was yeah, pretty rough. That was weird. <laughs> that was day two. It started fermenting. That was this pesto bad. pasta. The that's first day was incredible. The second day, that was alcoholic. Yeah, but that was a pure. Um, you were getting drunk from pasta. But, but guys, if you're a quesadilla mad. Quesadilla. You know what, Dan? Guess bring what? your Mexican leftovers to I don't stay. think I've ever had a quesadilla. You pretty much have. Is you've, it, got, you've got a wrap Is a fajita downstairs. a quesadilla? A fajita is a non toasted. What's one? an enchilada? An enchilada is where it's baked with like a small sauce and yeah so what's a quesadilla a quesadilla is a folded fajita wrap with stuffing that is grilled or oven baked uh, so what's a tortilla it's just a wrap or a chip or something. oh what more uh, questions uh, no I think that's all Mexican yeah, food cool. covered thanks it's actually not you've got chimichangas you ever had a chimichanga no 
You've got empanadas. Never had, what's an empanada? And is, <laughs> why are you, you shaking your head? You, you don't know, do you? You don't know. Empanadas are much smaller wrap wrap. Enchilada. It's a smaller enchilada, guys. If you want to know, you've it, lied. No. Have you ever and a chin- fajita is a hat for autumn. You've had chinchillas. Yeah, they're tasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're tasty. Hairpies. And they roll around and they're spiky. Hairpies? And they go they're li- like little hedgehogs. Yeah. Chinchillas. No. No, what's that animal called? A cinchilla. Herpes. Herpes? Herpes complex, A. Eh? No. Yes. No. So for so me. So you're choosing that? Quesadillas. Enchiladas. Quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> You're choosing Mexican shit. Okay, Mago, Mago, Mago. I'm choosing friendship. <laughs> friendship is the best crack snack. The best crack snack out there has got to be. Um. Oh, mine's gone blank now. I've ruined oh, it. Cool story. Oh, Just, you know I what? had one in my head. Do you know what I love? The massive um, shortbreads from any any show. You know the big chunky ones they do now? They're like a pound, one pound fifty. Oh. Triple chocolate chip. Yeah. Chunky shortbread. <gasps> can, I, can I go back? Crack course, snack. Gosh, you can. Them. Granola and butter enriched granola bars you from go co-op. Granola mad, so you've gone co-op granola yeah, bars yeah. booths granola oh yeah it's all slices. granola bars well basically at Chris- this has a story behind it though at Christmas time they, they had these mince pie butter and rich granola bars and they're like they're one of those fancy ones it's like oh, is it one a granola pound- bar with mince pies yeah yeah no yeah yeah no one pound fifty they were like one pound fifty Whoa. and you get five in a pack but they're one pound fifty, so I never bought them. After Christmas, they had like at least a hundred left, and they were selling them for eighteen p. So I bought maybe eight packs. Why didn't you buy more? Share. Well, I did. I bought eight packs, and I did share. Them. I didn't taste any. You of these. weren't round. You'd well, only just got back. Some. Save me one. Oh, I challenge you. I to a duel. No, I've never. I've seen to you to a paddling pool. I've not seen you bring a homemade crag snack. Never. What about my coffee in a mug? That's I was gonna, I was gonna say coffee, okay, but it's okay, not okay. homemade. It's it. coffee. How, is... how about that? And you know what? That's just taking me on to my next one. That I remember. Tea. No. Baked beans. It's got to be for me. The rules are: yours Fermented have to be homemade. Egg. I have to buy mine. It's got to be innocent smoothies. I thought you say ch- children's innocence then. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be the innocence of a child. Yeah, just for oh, lunch. That's so foul. Send train. No. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> it's got to be uh, innocent. Yeah, innocent, innocent smoothies. Smoothie. The green one. Oh, yeah. So good, man. And like when you. Oh, yeah. Well, look, at you, look how your coffee games improved. Oh, for, for Craig. Yeah. yeah. Remember when I used to just lean on you for coffee yeah, all the now time? You're, now you're there next to me with your with my own coffee. Yeah. Nice. It's almost like it's it's a really good thing to bring, isn't it? Yeah, it's hot flask. It's almost like I'm growing stay. up this year. This year has been the year that <laughs> the I've year been growing up. It is. It's so good. By I'm... the end of this year, we're all going to be pedophiles. Mm. That's my goal. PD. Pedophile. <laughs> I'm a pedophile. Ooh. I challenge you. Because your cooking game's on now. Yeah, it's getting better. You're cooking a lot more. Bitch, this is cooking. Just for, just for you. Yeah. Do yourself, and honestly, do yourself like a fucking boss crag snack. Okay. And then when you beast the climb out, sit on top of that rock. And eat it. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah. That'd be very satisfying. Cool thing to do that. Okay, I've got another one that you need to pick, because you just, you did them this year, and they've been significant. But I don't feel, I feel like you don't remember. Think. What have you made this year as a crag snack that has been, like, very... Innocent. I'll give you a. I'll oh. give you a clue. Sunbeam. Sunbeam. Yeah, the sunbeam rock. I was thinking of trail mix for a bit then. No, not but trail that's, mix. That's something that's disappeared for some reason. Yeah, it's a summer thing. Trail mix is a summer it's thing. Really, it's summer thing, isn't it? Yeah, we, it, it's it's, it's mi- a few of us that just carry trail mix. Yeah, around yeah. Tom's really good for it. It's fucking awesome. It is real good, but it is a summer thing. Everything you need in there. Yeah. Although no, Sun- Tom brought it out at Longridge recently. Did so. he? Yeah. Sunbeam rock. Yeah, think about it. Sunbeam rock. You called it Percy. Oh wow! As I, have I just floated yeah, your memory? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember it. Wait there. <laughs> he's thinking. I can't he's, guys, he's thinking. Fuck amazed. He's shocked. Remind me, brother. It, it was the first time it you brought them out on a crack. 
Yeah, it's the first time you brought them out onto the crack because you'd made them the night before, and then you, oh you had God, extras. Yeah. yeah, you remember now and barbecue then, roast potatoes. And then since then, it's been a highlight. And crack lots snack. of people have been bringing roast potatoes yeah. to a fucking crack. So you basically roast potato, roast in, loads of potatoes in loads of barbecue spice, and then it's just awesome by itself. Nothing else was by it. itself. I mean, we eat them. Martin was doing it. Sally was doing it. Yeah. Some other characters were doing yeah. it. Just bringing tubs of roast potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. What literally snack. nothing else. No sauces. Nothing. But it works, man. Because you just put like you just roast them well. I feel like doing it tonight. No. Yeah. You've said it. It's good, man. That's, good crack snack. You know snack. what? That I'm gonna say is Team BH part. Number one crack snack. It has to Fucking be. Fucking roast potatoes. Yeah. It has to be, mate. It has to be. Because it's like everything you need. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just potatoes. Nothing else. It? It's one of the few monochromatic um, diets you Yeah, yeah. Well, I heard about the man that only ate potatoes. Well, my um, friend Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for two months of his life. <laughs> you told me about <laughs> him, actually. Yeah, he's had potatoes every yeah. day, so we had to have... And it worked out right. He's fine. Yeah. yeah. He's alive. I think he's he had alive. I think he was really ill this year, but don't think it's related to his diet his diet. Yeah. Probably was. Okay. Um but he basically was eating like two two potatoes every meal. She had like That's six ridiculous. bacon potatoes a day. That's ridiculous. what a ridiculous diet. I'm a fucking legend. That and white did have water. <laughs> um, that but and water. That brings us really not enough water in potato. Anyway. Nicely yeah. into crag action. Crag action. So I hit the roaches again this week. Oh, yes. And I've not been in over a year Mm -hmm. to the roaches. And I fell in love with the place again. It's so magical, man. It's It's so magical. It's such a lovely, lovely place. The roaches. Peak District, if you don't know, make it on your go-to list uh, for boulders in the UK because... Beginners, advanced, whatever. There's lots of trad climbing there as well. There's so much going on there. We did a free solo-y little adventure with Martin there. Um, I thought that was Kaylee. So did you do roaches? Was roaches. That roaches? Was, uh, I one missed of the, that one. Uh, one of those big things, man. So big. From the bottom tier. I think I know which one you're in. I was yeah, looking up was something like going. It was like very three-dimensional scrambly stuff. Fucking awesome. And you come out of like a little hole in the roof. Really weird. So like there's the little classics there. And what's nice about the, some of the classics there? They're in our... Wheelhouse now. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... It's like it's, they're like in the sixes, aren't they? Yeah. And they're hard, but... Cool. But tech, they're like they're just polished, and, yeah. but they're fucking cool. Yeah, man. So there's like stri- ooh, Green Traverse, which is like a freestyle classic. Uh, stretch of Mantle, which was m- one of my highlight climbs from last year. Because um, one of those things that you just don't think you'll get. It's very intimidating. It looks rock. strange. It looks strange, looks difficult, looks I, bare. I, I got on it just for me and Becky and said, I just want to come back with yeah. someone to catch me. Yeah, yeah. Because I got onto the stretch move and it was like, yeah, this feels mental. Yeah, yeah. And um, so when when you when I realised you guys had all done that, I was like, good team effort. Yeah, yeah, you it know, was a good day. It was like that climb. Yeah, it was a good. Day. It was one of those that Tom kept calling me over, like, "Come, Pete, I think this suits you. Come do it." And eventually, I went over, and then it was just one of those where everyone's shouting you up, and you, you actually do it. And then once I'd done it, it was like he had to do it. Yeah, he had a bigger battle with it than me. Um, I think skill wise, it just I was more suited to it. The mantle section. For me, is like I feel like for most people the mantle section is the harder bit, but the stretch bit was the hard bit for me. Is it? Yeah, it's fucking good, far. Cool climb. Yeah, it's good really climb. far. I think there's a knack to it though, maybe that you need. Well, maybe next time you're the roaches, we can share some knacks. Yeah, because you've knacks. You've knacked some things up. I've knacked you? some things. So tell around. me about your day. So well, it started off with um, the little slab at the back. Oh, a nice little. Look. So you walked all the way up to the slab at the top. No, in, well, in the in the wood, but right at the back. Yeah, right. Yeah, did all the slab like yeah. as a nice warm up. That is a nice warm up block, actually. What? What? Did, when did you? Very go? easy. All the stuff on there. Very. Well, easy. The first time I went, yeah, it was quite intimidating because it was like one of my first out. It was like my second or third wow. outdoors. Yeah, yeah. Did, but it was like challenging. You know, I was and working on a Johnny Dawes run on across that. across the slab. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. So I just walked up half of them, yeah, yeah. and so did Sally. Yeah. I was like, but first time we went, it was like a bit intimidating. Yeah, yeah. And then just potted around, did, yeah. and then Sally went to Greenish Reverse. Yeah. And so you went back down the hill a little bit to get. To so that. I got that. I had a good bit of fun with that, mm. really, and it was awesome. And mm. then Sally had a battle with it. Yeah. And like we learnt a lot climbing together on that one, like mm-hmm. head game, blah blah blah. And like said to it, it's time to walk away. Okay, yeah. And um, and sorry, I tell a lie. Just before that, I'd had a few jumps at the 
um, the big dino, undercut dino, whatever it's called. Oh, okay. Um, that's the one next to Stretch and Mantle. So, also, you know the Green Traverse? I think yeah. it has a climb the opposite way. So you start at the lower end and you go up and you top out at the other side of the it block. It also has, I think, what might be a 7A version, which is you do the whole rail. So you start in the exact same place, but traverse the whole rail and oh, mantle wow. out on the slab at the back. Oh, my God. Uh, it's got a name online. But um, So I had to go with the V8 Dino. Oh, yeah. Um, and it, I couldn't get. I couldn't even hold the thing. I couldn't first. get on it. No, last year. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then my first jump was so embarrassing on it. This and is last year. No, now. Oh, really? And then I just got into it, and then I'm about half an inch off the top. So it's going. And it's it was really like, going. And I had a battle with it, and then I walked away. When we said, how many attempts do you think you had to go? Fifty. Oh, really? So you had a proper battle with it. Lost a lot of skin. Lost a lot of blood. <laughs> It's good. Oh, brilliant. But I read, it's been so long since I've been in dino mode. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to get into. And then we went to Greeners. Yeah. Becky had a battle with that. We took her away from that. I had a few <laughs> more jumps at that. Yeah. I gave up on that for the day. But yeah. then in my last few goes, I got the knack of the, of the, the jump. The, the V8 dino. So I was starting with my right hand, then I was going with my left hand, then I was going with both hands, and yeah. I went back to my left hand, and it's all the left. It's like, the left hand. So it's like... I know. I really want to go with you and take a look at this dino, man. And um, so I've, I've honestly never pulled on it. All I've done is felt the undercling and been like, mm. I know the undercling now. And it's like, so you, the undercling is kind of on a rail type situation. It's huge. Do you put the right leg on the rail as well? Do you put any left, leg? Left leg below the rail. Just below the le- rail, and then nothing on the actual rail. Right leg, right foot is on a tiny little indentation, which is that's the bit I, ah. I fell off a couple of times, and it's like I, I needed to change my shoes. Is there a good foot? The left foot is good. Left foot is amazing. Okay, but then it, like it goes, <laughs> and for someone the short is me. Yeah, and you. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a big, quite big send. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really big. It's gonna be up there with um, what's the one at Stanage? Deliver deliverance. Uh, in yeah. that type of height, I yeah, want deliverance I one want day, it. man. That like for me, that's going to be a goal. Maybe twenty twenty goal would be beautiful, man. Deliverance. I got on it. Yeah, I know. And I can get to the move. Yeah. So you you were you making the move of the move? In no, terms I'm, of... I'm on it. Like, and I was trying to figure out how I'm going to move off it. Oh, but okay. It needs to go back with people, people who want to do it. Yeah. Pe- people who want to spend time hours on that block yeah because it's like it got through the traversy bit which is fine and there's also the arete next to that which is really beautiful and again i just wanted more pads no just one more pad and another big person a big bend no just because like the move goes but it's just the the head game and the wind got me that day it was bitter yeah yeah and like i went for that i was like two inches and i mean Mm. two inches and it was like i did not have the bottle just to grab it Oh man! So I need to just go back with someone, and it's like, blah 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 blah. These little grit adventures have really come to like. I truly yeah. fell in love with the peak in the last yeah. month. Man, gritstone, I'm loving it as well. I can't. So tomorrow we're potentially going that in that direction. Potentially going to Wales also. Um, but yeah, I'm just loving the grit at the minute. Mate, I, it's in, that sort of techy climbing with the the smearing. It's very fun. I did me. Joe's a ret. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. V three. Yeah. Took me a few bit of time, fifteen minutes to work out because it's just a bit knacky and it's a bit polished in places. Yeah, incredible. I did this thing called I can't remember the fucking names now. But two and three star climbs that are all relatively low in grade. Yeah, but they're fucking high and the temperature dropped. It was the most beautiful night. The sky was like rose and blue because the sunset. It was just me and Sally. Fucking no one there. Oh really? The all entire the day. Some people walking around every now and then just saying hello. Yeah. There's another That's beautiful, two man. more dinos at the top as well that we need to go back for. There's a lot there waiting. So it's like So overall though, beautiful day. Roaches is a dream. You had a good day out there. It's I remember coming back on Monday evening, talking to you about it, and I could see how excited you were about the place. Because you're just yeah, talking It's reinvigorated excited. me from outdoor dinos, like because it's the they're so big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And knacky. Yeah. Nothing is like I've seen a few. Nothing dino- indoors is like it. Indoors I've, I've is all seen, power, man. I found a lot of dinos. Oh really? Oh man, I was thinking on the podcast we should start doing some sort of thing where we're not knowledgeable knowledgeable enough to give out news like actual climbing news. You know, like uh, you know, is it D- Jimmy B sent 
Yeah. Deliveroo. Have you, uh, who is it? That, uh, is it Epic TV? Have you seen their new oh, show? They, they, that they, they do. actually read stuff. They're, they're the guys that you go Unless, to for that. Yeah. But on Instagram, man, on my feed and the Explore page, so I'm just, and I'm sure it's out there for every other climber, but uh, I'm getting so many crazy indoor boulder routes that I'm watching people do. Like, and clearly the root setters at the minute are just going crazy with some things. Well, cup shit coming up, they're going nuts. Yeah, they're just going nuts with the craziest stuff I've ever seen. Like, the most creative boulders. Maybe we should have... Oh, what's going on with that? Hang on, one second, we're pausing that shit. I love how all your ideas come out on the podcast. No, don't. Sorry about that, guys. We just had a weird little thing. I just had an idea. Let's work it out now. No, we can work it out on the podcast. It's absolutely fine. People love hearing about our inner thoughts, I'm sure. Not yours. Not this mine. is where like the viewership just drops. But no, we should. Uh, <laughs> I reckon we recommend a video of the week or something, and we like congr- congratulate them. Just recommend someone on on Instagram, and I had one from today. Uh, you recommend one. I'll recommend one. All right. So it. guys out there, this week's uh, should we call it block of the week? Block of the week. This week's block of the week. I'm going for blockhead of the week. <laughs> blockhead of the week. No, because that sounds yeah. You do block. I'll do blockhead. No, don't be no, just, So block is the choice of the rock. Okay. Blockhead is the person. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go on then, give us your block of the week, blockhead. Why, why are you making it so aggressive? Blockhead! Oh, God, you, you put me under stress. Uh, I'm just finding it, it's under my saved, so... I'm going into my climbing saved on Instagram. Okay, guys, I'll put it on the... On the story of barely hanging when on Monday morning, so you'll be able to uh, see this. But the girl's Instagram is mn1516, and it's her latest well, post. It's off the tongue, that. And look, no, but look at this climb. It's got like massive yellow holes, and she has to do a double knee bar and then spin around underneath the knee bar. So anyway, that's going to be the block of the week this week. Go and look at it on our Instagram. So block of the week. Um, well, I'm going to give a shout out. We met this guy. Yeah, this is Blockhead of the Week. This is the Blockhead of the Week. Okay. We met him at Care Bar. Oh, yeah. He was that ginger giant that was dynoing. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow um, him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he's got like every single uh, dino. dino in the peaks, every single dino in Fontainebleau. Like, if you just scroll through his feed, he's got everything. So it's Jack Farrow ninety two blockhead of the week. And give give <laughs> message him now mess- saying well done. You got blockhead of the week. Listen to B- BH Pod. <laughs> <laughs> it's a message right now. <laughs> so go follow him out. Go follow him. Blockhead of the week. Hopefully you'll get loads of new followers from our massive lis- <laughs> listenership. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, guys out there, well, how do you how do you oh, say? I've requested not even following him. <laughs> We're not following Dino him. Dino Club's following him. Just oh, Dino Club is. Okay, cool. That's so annoying. I will mess him and say. You're That's so funny. So Jack Farrow, go what, follow what him. These videos, he's like, yeah, seriously, he's a fucking beast. If you want to see some absolute beastie? I like this blockhead of the. I like the blockhead one more than the block of the yeah, week. Yeah, block of the week's for n- knobs. Knobs. <laughs> nice save, Dan. Right with that, let's call this where it is. Let's call this. Peter. Showbiz. The showbiz, where it is. Showbiz. I hope you've all had a good podcast. Um, Big shout out to our sponsor, Daniel Winterburn, and his clothing brand, Enso Method. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great, actually. Uh, go on EnsoMethod.com and take a look at everything they've got over there. Um, we're sort ideas. of running out of ideas. <laughs> ideas. <laughs> <laughs> we're running that, running out of lots of uh, of the sizes, so be quick if you want something. Um, follow me at Pete underscore Rick. Follow me at Danko Winter Bear. And follow the podcast at BH Pod. I uh, hope you've enjoyed listening to this. Call us. Call us. And ask a question. Ring us on 015193456789. And um, if you are the third caller, you'll you'll win. Third caller, you'll yeah. win. So you'll remember, win. call us. Funky Bar. Double Dino the Micro Crimper. Get it on with the coding. Let us get recording. Don't you know recording? Let's get it on with the coding. Everyone's recording. Record with me. Darling, don't you want to record it?
don't you I want you record with me Don't you wanna record, gonna record me Why do you think gonna record me Why is I paying to your record with me And I'll join the week Record with me, no we know we gon' meet I don't eat meat, I'm a vegetarian Vegan, me and nowhere Record with me and bring me a sweet Gon' bring me something real nice to eat But don't bring me meat because I'm vegan meat I'm vegan Pete, I don't eat meat, no meat I'm no meat Pete, don't eat that shit I don't eat it, not at all, don't eat meat Pete I'm no meat Pete, don't greet Pete with some meat Cause he'll fling that in your face And he'll say no hell your disgrace Here comes Daniel with the pie on his face I hope that pie doesn't have meat inside Cause I'm no meat Pete And I'm feeling the vibe I'm gonna no meat Pete Gonna meet your meat The only meat I eat Is the meat that Dan's got between his big meaty thighs Gonna eat that meat till it's sweet and sour Gonna suck out a pizza I'm gonna suck it on that He's his mouth Pizza liar, pizza liar, he loves meat in his mouth. Oh, I'm gonna lie to you, I love it, I love meat in my mouth. I love meat and it tastes so sweet when I put it between my big meaty cheeks. So get the meat inside of me. Gonna put your meat inside of my meat. Gonna put my meat inside your cheeks and it's gonna taste sweet. Chili cheesecakes. I like meat and I really like feet. I love he likes feet all over his feet. <laughs>